An important task for, uh, for any satellite installation installer to know is how to correctly put on a coax connector uh, onto a piece of satellite RG6 cable. So for this, in terms of um, tools, we, we simply need a, a, a sharp pair of snips and in terms of equipment, we need a coax connector and we need uh, a length of RG6 satellite cable. So the first step is to pare down the end of a piece of satellite cable. Um, we start and make an incision about 20 millimeters from the end of the satellite cable and then we do in a circular motion we make it put in about four to five cuts around the satellite cable and then at 90 degrees to this we cut up along the length of the satellite cable and then with our hand we can simply pull off the outer black cable. Uh, at this stage we pull down the outer core uh, cables of copper and wrap them in a clockwise direction around um, the, the black uh, outer cable and with our hand or with the help of a pet set of snips cut the aluminium foil off. This serves no purpose and will be out of the way, in the way if not removed. Um, at this point then we've got a, a set of snips and we pair down the cable, uh, the, the white uh, inner core at about five to six millimeters from where the copper core has been wrapped around the black cable. So we'll take a total of three to four cuts. Uh, we cut the white foam but not the inner core cable and we twist um, the foam now and simply take it off with our hand and now we're left with that fully pared down cable. The next step is to disassemble um, the coax cable. Now it's, um, the coax cable itself is made up of four component parts and uh, so there's the outer um, base here, the, the central clamping mechanism and then there's a center piece here which the actual center core cable goes into. So first of all we sli slide the, um, the end piece on and now we slide the, the, the clamping mechanism on. First of all we pull out the outer um, sections, the four prongs of this so it can slide on easily onto the copper and now with our hands we simply squeeze on that cable or the, the clamp onto the copper cable. Uh, next we slide on the center piece goes over the copper cable. The important thing here is to make certain that no outer core cable is touching the central cable at this point because if it does it will irk the cable and give you a bad connection. Uh, so slide this on at this point and now the final um, step of the assembly is to slide on the outer casing and then push up the base unit and simply twist it around till it locks in tightly. Okay and at this point here the cable is fully assembled. Now the final step here is to simply come along and get your snips and cut off the excess copper cable that's showing. So the copper cable should be roughly uh, level with the top of the coax connector and finally use the snips to ensure that the centre piece is pushed to the centre of the cable so when you go to insert it into a wall plate or into a coupler uh, um, it will slot on neatly.